Hey there folks, at long last I've finally gotten around to finishing, uh, redoing all my teams for Black and White 2. I'm starting off with my double slash triples team, my first black and white team that I ever made, um, my quote unquote Sydney team. Now you might be thinking, well, Antar doesn't look like you made any changes, I mean all these Pokemon are the same. Um, so that's mo all the Pokemon are the tr same, although Gallade is a new breed because now it has Justified and not freaking Steadfast. Steadfast is extremely annoying on a Trick Room Pokemon since, you know, if it gets flinched, then it's speed raising. You don't want the speed ri rising on your, on a Trick Room Pokemon. So instead it's Justified, which is so much better. Um, Musharna is the other Pokemon that's slightly different. It now has Helping Hand instead of Toxic. Uh, now my opponent here, I look at his team and think, okay, uh, by the way, this is a random guy I met through random Wi-Fi, uh, obviously a Japanese player as you're about to see, and looking at his team, I'm thinking, okay, this looks like a fairly okay, randomly put together team. Um, should be okay. I'm thinking that my opponent's gonna probably predict that Musharna is going to go for the Trick Room, so I have it instead go for the Helping Hand, thinking that uh, Mind uh, Xiao was going to fake it out. Instead, he goes for the Wide Guard. That sucks. And here my opponent goes for Tailwind with Crobat, and I'm thinking, okay, well, as long as uh, Gallade can pull off a Trick Room, it's all gonna be good. But, but freaking, uh, <laughs> his freaking uh, Miss Magius happens to carry the Imprison, and so I'm not gonna manage to pull off uh, trick Room, and I'm not going to be able to hit my opponent with, I think I used uh, Blizzard, maybe I used Discharge, um, I think it was actually Discharge, but anyway, yeah, so I'm completely blocked on the first turn, and that sucks. Now I'm going to switch out into Lantern, fearing his Crobat to go for a Brave Bird, or something like that, um, and indeed he does go for a Brave Bird, boosted by Flying Gem. So I'm thinking, huh, Flying Gem, you know, I don't really think of gems as being that good, but then again, in VGC slash Double slash Triples, uh, which are very short battles, I think that gems actually work out kind of pretty okay. So I'm glad I switched out into Lantern. Um, another gem. So uh, his Mind Shao has a uh, Fighting Gem. That was a waste of fighting gem, I think. High jump kick, no way that wasn't going to take out Rotom. So now I've lost a Pokemon. Mushorn is going to go for Psychic, but, you know, uh, his Mind Shao has done its job, and that was kind of wasted. Um, I mean, you know, it's not wasted, but it's good to have it dead, but, you know, really, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Anyway, now my opponent sounds at Typhlosion, I'm thinking, oh crap, eruption, eruption, eruption. Um, Steelix has sturdy, so I'm thinking maybe I can survive and do some damage. Uh, Mushan is going to go for Helping Hand. I think I go for, um, I don't actually, I must go for Gyro Ball or something with Steelix. Um, anyway, Sunlight turns harsh. Uh, my opponent unfortunately goes for Icy Wind with his Miss Magius, and that's going to uh, get Steelix below 100%, which means that Eruption is definitely going to take out Steelix, especially with a sunny day up. It's like this guy knew my team and had specific counters for the entire team. Oh, Fire Gem now. Fire Gem Eruption, gonna KO everyone except for maybe Lantern because Lantern does, after all, resist it. And even with the prior damage, Lantern actually does survive, but Musharna and Steelix are going to go down. So this is not going well for me at all. I've gotten one kill on a Pokemon that really had done its job, and this is really, really bad. Really bad. Um, Lantern goes for Ice Beam against Crobat. Uh, Thunderbolt would have been the better move. Uh, probably actually would have KO'd. Not sure why I went for the T-Bolt. Um... I guess it's because he switched out into Garchomp? I don't know. Anyway, Gallade uh, and Tangrowth are my two last Pokemon, and I'm like, come on, let's turn this around! I can totally do this, I can totally turn this around. Um, no, I really don't think I can, especially while uh, that Typhlosion, which is a pretty fast Pokemon, is spewing eruptions. So my top priority is to make those eruptions do a little bit less damage. Go for the Shadow Sneak. Uh, it is going to uh, lower that Typhlosion's HP enough that... Uh, when the eruption comes, maybe it won't KO Gallade, probably still will uh, KO Tangrowth. Anyway, Icy Wind's gonna drop uh, both of our speed. Notice how little that does to Tangrowth. Um, uh, my Tangrowth, if you'll recall, is a mixed defensive set. Uh, I don't know that it's balanced uh, in the HP and defense, but it or special defense, but it definitely has, or I don't know if it has the same defense and special defense, but it has a lot of special defense investment and a plus special defense nature. 
Anyway, uh, two more Pokemon down, Lantern and Tangrowth. So I'm down to my last Pokemon. Against five of his, there's no way I can win, but I'm not gonna just resign. I'm gonna let him KO. He's gonna go ahead and switch out, thinking that I'm gonna go for another Shadow Sneak. Instead, I was just going to go for, I don't know, some kind of, I'm probably Drain Punch or something. But it doesn't matter, his Pokemon are faster, and Gallade is taken out before it can do any kinds of moves. So I get killed in a body bag by a very, very competent opponent. So great game, random Japanese opponent. Folks, I am back. All my teams are done with Black and White 2, except for my PU team, which I need to fix. Um, but feel free to challenge me, so comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.